hello friends welcome to joy of life so today we are going to do an unboxing and review of logitech g604 lightspeed wireless gaming mouse with hero 16k dpi sensor 15 programmable controls up to 240 hours battery life dual wireless connectivity and so on so as you can see that i have bought the renewed or the refurbished version over here since i am not very convinced we are going to first check out on the product and then see that uh, is it a right decision for me to go ahead with this or not so this uh, mouse is uh, predominantly for your gaming and i have been using um, the logitech g502 as you can see this one purchased in 2018 so i've been using almost three years now so it has the 25k sensors 2500 dpi rgb adjustable weights 11 programmable buttons onboard memory and so on so comparing the specs we can see that um, g502 is a clear winner over here so we are going to compare both the mouse see the difference and try to understand like um, is it worth going for it or not as you can see the difference in the price so g604 lightspeed uh, it's a wireless mouse it costs around 6k well um, 502 is a uh, wired it costs around 4295 i have purchased it at a higher price g502 has a wireless version as well so you can see over here that we have the wireless as well and it costs pretty higher it's around 12k so it's double the price of g604 so here is the package that was delivered to me so what we are going to do is we are going to open and yeah, see the mouse compare it with the g502 side by side so that we have a better understanding of how the differences on in term so we are going to compare it side by side understand what's the difference in spec size and everything so here it comes out of the package um, i'm not sure how the refurbished is packed but uh, yeah here is the package the box doesn't seem that great uh, there is a little wear and tear it's refurbished so yeah that's pretty much expected and uh, let's open the box and see what's inside so here it comes out of the box uh, you have the box intact so this is not in great shape though yeah let's get it out uh, let's get rid of this box and um, let's see what inside you have this paper and everything so i'm not going into this this is the mouse what it looks like so let's uh, open it We have the cords over here we are going to see in much more detail so let's get the mouse out so here is the mouse though it's refurbished there is no sign of any wear and tear it looks pretty fine pretty neat uh, i think somebody has uh, might have returned it and uh, there is a logitech sticker if you want to put somewhere it's with the g uh, there is nothing else in the box it's pretty much done so i'm going to keep it aside i'm going to keep the sticker aside as well the cover well uh, let's open this package over here you have the wire over here so let's open it so it's a pretty long wire you can see there is a usb connector over here both the sides okay so let's get this packet out and uh, let's see the mouse over here so you have the free wheel over here so you can just rotate it and you have the notch control over here so now it won't rotate like that so you have this lock control over here and there is a wi-fi button over here and uh, there are two plus and minus buttons over here as you can see and there are six programmable buttons over here one two three four five six on the back side you have the on off you have the g604 written on it and you have those paddings so pretty decent in size so it uh, covers my palm almost like this so if i put it over here so you can see that yeah feels good not bad 
the sound is also not very high and um, this is my G502 so it's uh, been used for a long time so um, excuse me for all these things so it has also this notch wheel and uh, you can lock unlock so it's um, having the same thing over here there are two buttons over here two by the side and one over here right and uh, one thing to mention that it has um, a button over here so you can just tilt it left or right quite good for gaming uh, but just thought of using something wireless so let's see this guy also have this left and right so they are claiming to have 15 buttons so this is one this is two this is three this is four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve thirteen you can press this fourteen fifteen these are the fifteen buttons okay now comparatively g502 is having a lesser number of buttons but it is much more professional grade for gaming so both this mouse uh, is for gaming so you can see the size is more or less the same there isn't much difference on the size it's uh, almost uh, of the same size uh, when it comes to weight uh, it weighs a little higher it's not as portable as this but um, yeah looks good to me um, G502 has a beautiful thing at the back of it so you can just open this flap so you can see that there are chambers right and uh, you get something like this uh, you must be wondering what's in the box this box uh, has some weights so you can see over here this box contains some weights over here so you can take these weights so you can take these and what you can do is you can increase the weight of your mouse if you want so some people might prefer a heavier mouse so what you can do is you can put these weights over here and uh, put the flap back so now your mouse is pretty heavy so you can customize this in terms of weight so that that is an amazing feature and uh, the way the buttons are located it's very easy to reach any of the buttons i'll mention in the comment section how is the ease of using this uh, mouse uh, the pros uh, and cons would be there because uh, it, it's pretty uh, heavy and uh, at the same time uh, it has a, the sensors are low but uh, I am not a uh, tournament player or something like that so this, this should suffice I just wanted to get rid of this wear the wear looks very premium in this but um, I just wanted to get rid of this clutter that's been happening on my table after two to three years of use of this mouse i would say that it's definitely one of the best mouse uh, logitech has ever made and like i pretty much liked it it's it's value for money and uh, it feels really premium so let me get this aside and uh, let's see what else is there right so let me um, let me open this yeah so you can open this panel over here so once you open this panel you can see that you have the battery over here it's uh, already there with a pre-built battery and you have the dongle as well so this is you have to plug it in switch it on at the back side and uh, you should be good to go so what we are going to quickly do is we are going to move over and check this mouse in action so what I'll do is I'll get rid of this mouse it has a beautiful light you can see over here but uh, this one doesn't have any RGB but anyways it hardly matters I would say so let me get rid of this mouse and let me plug this in so for ease of plugging in what they have done is uh, you can put it over here and um, you can keep it closer over here somewhere over here close to your mouse so that you can use it easily so you can keep it somewhere over here so that uh, the connectivity remains strong because my CPU is a little far away from my desk so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this so let me unplug this and plug it uh, plug this in so I'm keeping it over here so that we can see how what happens when we connect so I've connected the mouse now you can see that um, USB receiver is set up and ready to go so let me switch uh, this guy on 
so you can see a light what i'm going to do next is i'm going to open logitech g hub um for now it's moving very slow you can see right it's not that um, fluent so what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the settings over here so that we get a good performance so meet g604 it's here so here is some walkthrough of so you can change this primary click secondary click fast pickup you, you can change this customize this button i'm going to show you how to do that seamless transition you can use multiple device so you can just press this button over here and now you're good to go just a click away uh, moving on games and application it's fine okay skip intro i'll just skip the intro and move on so okay so currently what i see is that we are at um, 800 and uh, that's too slow for me i'll change it to 3200 now it feels pretty good it's moving fast and um, actually i use a little higher than 3200 so i am going to change it later let it be 3200 for now and assign these to your mouse so you can see here that you will uh, see all the buttons that you have right so you can change it so you can increase the dpi using this button so now it has increased i believe so it will be much faster and uh, you can change this button so i'm mostly into fps gaming so what i'll be doing is i'll be changing these buttons over here so i don't need this forward back and all so i'll be configuring them with uh, different numbers and all so that i can just easily use them during my gameplay so these will help me to play a better game so if you want to change them what you can do is uh, let's say th this button over here i just want to change this button and uh, i'm just uh, willing to put um, r over here so i can just search for r so you can just get it over here and i can just drop it right so i can just take this r and what happened it should be able to yeah so you can see that i have just dropped the r into that button so what will happen is um, if i open notepad now and uh, press this button over here you can see that it's printing r so you must be wondering why i have put r r is for um, reloading your weapon when you're playing a game so that's why i put r so one two three is fine so i'll uh, think later what should i do with these two buttons over here so probably i can use them for something else um, so yeah that's how you configure it and uh, this is your uh, logitech hub so all your devices will show up over here wherein you can easily configure and play the way you want so you can do a lot of macro setup as well so uh, you, you, you can just set it up the way you want right so you can say, uh, create different um, profile so you can see that i have created some gaming profile for daisy for gta for pubg for red dead redemption so yeah that's all uh, so what i'll be doing is i'll be sharing with you guys how's the experience of using this mouse and um, uh, this feels good for now i'll just give it a go for a few days and see how it all ends up so once again what i'll quickly do is i'll share the link um, to this mouse over here and uh, g502 as well i highly recommend this mouse so this is one of the superb and best mouse i have ever used and i feel that the experience is uh, going to be the same with this one still with lower dpi so it's 16k that one is 25k but uh, yeah since i'm not a tournament level gamer it shouldn't matter much to me but let's see how it goes i just wanted to use it for a few days and see how it all ends up so yeah that's all from this video i hope you like the video do let me know in the comment section it's been a long time since i've been doing videos so it's again time to get back active so in the days to come we'll get back into programming and many more technical things as well as unboxing and things like that so once again thanks for watching the video take care stay safe and see you guys bye bye